Exactly. Hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers, Chris McGee, Robert Ory, James Worthy, Mike Brezan, Ali's going to join us. You're going to hear from Brez in a moment. Lakers get their first win of the year. It was entertaining. It was fun. A young Memphis team led by John Morant. He is a special talent. But tonight is about Carmelo Anthony and the Lakers getting their first W. Man, Carmelo came out tonight aggressive. He's one of those type of guys. We always call certain guys microwaves. Let's be honest. This guy is a walking microwave, too. He came out. He's been shooting the ball extremely well from three. Um, what I like best is the guy started looking for him. And that's what you got to do. Sometimes when guys are, 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 are up in the league and have a lot of stature as AD and LeBron, they kind of say, okay, I'm going to do my thing. But they say, whoa, who's that guy? The big four. Big four. Carmelo Anthony. Before you guys go. We're going to go out to Staples. Carmelo Anthony is with Mike Trudell. All right, Carme Carmelo Anthony, 28 points tonight. Lakers needed every single one of them. Uh, what did it mean for you guys to just get that first win and have your role in this one? Man, it was, we know it's going to be tough, especially early on in this part of the season, man. We, we told each other before the game that we're going to have to take this one. We're going to have to fight and get this one. But sometimes you got to go you got to go win games like this to try to find some or start some momentum. And I thought we did a great job of just playing the game tonight. You know, we had some, we had some lows in the game tonight, but for the most part, we did what we had to do to win the basketball game and that's all I count you've been getting buckets since you were a little kid what does it mean for you to now be ninth on the all-time scoring list surpassing Moses Malone I mean again it's, it's, it's an honor it's, it's a blessing I'm still doing it you know 19 years in man and you know I'm, I'm still passionate about the game I'm still passionate about my craft my teammates they they, they uplift me every single day um, I'm just happy to be here, man, and it's third game, so, you know, hopefully there's many more to come. I know you're a historian of the game of basketball. When you see your name up there, right, on those type of lists and players like Moses and who's to come next, uh, what does that make you reflect upon? The grind is worth it. The journey is worth it. I'm from where tomorrow's on promise, so, you know, I got to enjoy every moment. Uh, and I, again, I'm just happy we got the win tonight. So that's that's, that's the most important. Appreciate it, Melo. Congratulations. Thank you. Carmelo Anthony was the star of the night. He passes Moses Malone for ninth all time on the scoring list. 28 points, 10 of 15 from the field, 6 of 8 from 3. His plus minus was plus 19. And one thing that I appreciated, I had not heard Staples Center like that since March of 2020. And it felt good. It was so much fun. And Carmelo, when he got cooking there, big game James, in that game, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and the Laker fans, you know, we've been waiting for uh, a player like that who who's, 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 who comes in and provides the three. Hitting two or three consecutive shots really got the crowd going when they needed it. So, I mean, this guy, 19 years in, they tried to write him off a few years ago, and he ended up in Portland where he shot almost 39% or something like that for them. 40. Yep. 40%. Yep, and uh, he's still hungry for a championship. You know, when, when guys get older, Two things happen. They either like they 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 started you know fading out. They're going to retire, or they realize that hey, I got I got about three years left. Get yourself in good shape. Get your mind ready. And he does one thing that that's, that's needed in this league. He still can shoot. He still knows how to get his shot off, catch and shoot. He knows how to bump into you, get that chest and shoulder to the chest, and get it shot off. And when he's hot, he's he's exciting to watch. Yeah, James, I love the fact that the ball does not stay with him very long. He gets the ball, either passes it right away or shoots it up. And, and by the way, Keith, how much time do we spend during the offseason asking the same question a hundred different ways? Did the Lakers add enough shooters to make this team successful? They, they were 53% from three-point range tonight. They were a top 10 team behind the arc coming into tonight's game. It's very early, but so far the answer for that is yes. And Carmelo, a big reason why, like you guys have said, six of eight from three-point range. By the way, LeBron, he's been he's been jamming his threes. Four, four, another four tonight out of nine attempts. He's had a, a pretty good run behind the arc as well. I want to say this: uh, best offensive night for this Laker team so far this season. Um, Twenty-nine assists. The three-ball guy, sixteen of thirty, fifty-three percent. Six players in double figures, and the bench with forty-eight points. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you look at you look at the good things. They're chipping away at, you know, uh, trying to understand 
where they are on the floor and not think so much. Nice dime right there. Monk came in, did a good job. Of course, we can look at some other categories where maybe they didn't do as well, where they, you know, points in the paint. Uh, you know, they, they, they still, they had that in the first half, but then Myth was able to come back. But I think overall, the categories that you talked about, they, yeah. they did a pretty good job there. You know, they, they overcame a lot. And to me, this was a really weird game. And if you look at it, every Memphis starter was a plus. Every Lakers starter was a minus. <laughs> but the Lakers bench came through. Not just, you know, Carmelo and, and Monk. Monk came out, knocked some big free throws down, played some good defensive mm -hmm. roles, you know, had some assists on the fast break. So, you know, you're going to have those nights where the starters are starters. But it's up to the bench to step up and do a little bit more. Yeah, two games ago against Golden State, by yeah. the way, the Laker bench thoroughly outplayed. Remember Bielitsa and Damian Lee from, from the Warriors reserve unit really outplayed the backups for the Lakers. Completely different story tonight. Uh, Carmelo leading the way there. Make no mistake about it, it is a work in progress. This was sure. not a perfect night, as, as you guys w were mentioning. They did have 12 blocks and 10 steals, but they were out-rebounded by 13. Uh, Memphis had 18 offensive boards that led to 32 uh, second chance points, but the Lakers do get the W. Uh, we do have this sequence at the end of the game. This is crazy. Coming out of a timeout, and there was, there was a big game of chess going on. Were they going to foul up three? Some clutch free throws made by Malik Monk and AD. John Morant gets the ball. There's, what, six, seven seconds left in the game. Bays looks like he's going to go in for the reach. Jaw goes up for the shot. Oof. Definitely a foul. There it is right there, Rob. Yeah, right there. You see the reach in with the left hand, and you might not think these refs going to call that, but they, down the stretch, you can let the players play the game. But right here, clearly a foul. I know Bays didn't think so, but it was a foul. So, so big game. He had made the first two. And right as he was in rhythm to shoot that one, Rob saw a little hitch, and he said, he tricked it. It's hard, it was off. <laughs> it's hard to hit yeah. three free throws in a row. A, a coach will tell you, hit, take two, step back for a couple seconds, then come back to it. It's, it's more of your routine because – Nowadays, I mean, with the three-point shot, it's normal. But, yeah, he, he couldn't get that third one in. We were laughing um, but before we came on the air. The guy who misses the three is, is the guy who had 40 points. Right. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and 10 assists. assists. It was yeah. 9 of 10 going to that free throw, uh, from the free throw line until that, until that miss. Um, he was 5 of 7. John Morant is a special talent. You, you know. I, I know he's going to be thinking about that one for a long time, Brez, but what a game that that young man had. Yeah, you know, you said it earlier. You said it was just a fun game all around. You know, Staples Center, maybe uh, part uh, relief, part excitement. You know, they finally got a win uh, for, for the crowd tonight. Um, and, yeah, John Morant. I mean, this kid is on the path to stardom. You know, I brought the question before the show. He was drafted second behind Zion a couple years ago. Maybe if you do that draft today, he goes first. Zion just can't stay on the court. When he is on the court, he's pretty dominant. Uh, definitely got some work defensively to do, but John Morant seems like the, the complete package. This team probably will be in the playoffs. I know they made it last year as a play-in candidate, but th this feels like a top-eight team after watching them top to bottom today. You know what this feels like to me, though? Uh, the way John Morant is, is playing. I know my son is missing his you know, He might be MVP. Oof. Because if you look at the way uh, Derrick Rose played in Chicago and got Ricky a year, this is exactly okay. what Ja is doing. And I, I, I've always said, okay, Jaws a talent, but when you see him play yeah. all the time, I just he's don't a know if the team's talent. good enough yet, but he is. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's 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 turning into an all-star before our very eyes. He is one. Yeah. I don't know if he makes it because it's hard to make it in the Western Conference as a guard, but he is an all-star in my opinion. Yeah, he's there. James has already arrived. Yeah. There's no question about it. I mean, he's putting up big numbers and he goes into uh, opponents' arenas and he has he has attitude. This guy has an attitude to go along with his talent. And he's not going to be denied. He'll go in amongst the Giants. He's very acrobatic, tough. So he's, he's got a strong possibility to, to, to be an all-star. We'll see. All those characteristics, Brez, you add that athleticism, yeah, uh, the toughness, but he's also got a style to his game that make people love him and want to watch him play. His story arc kind of reminds me of Damian Lillard. You know, small college, uh, Murray State, not a lot of people got to see him on a national uh, perspective, but scouts knew right away this kid's going to be something special. He was fun to watch in the NCAA tournament. And now here he is, uh, Memphis, in a massive rebuild the last few years. You know, gone is Mike Conley, Marcus Saul, all the good defensive-minded guys they had in there during the grindhouse era. Completely different look for this team. It's, it's a fun look, too. This team can score. They got shooters. Not a ton of depth. So that, that's the one thing they're lacking. Magic uh, had a tweet in our last show 
um, oh, yeah. that kind of got a nice conversation going about the Dwight and AD thing that happened during the second quarter. He has a tweet as well tonight talking about uh, Carmelo Anthony leading the way for the Los Angeles Lakers. And that's exactly what happened. Magic's tweet, uh, Carmelo Anthony leading the way for the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, I, I do want to get your guys' take on, on Russ um, and where you stand on his night. Uh, at 13 points. Five of 15, one for four from three, so he did hit his first three. Uh, 13 assists, seven rebounds, but he also had the nine turnovers. But he has these hustle plays, and he's, he's out there. He's giving you everything he has, uh, Rob, James, and Brez. But, but it, that, the stint he had in the second quarter where, where he goes nine straight points and five assists, that's the rust where you can really see the way he can impact his team. Yeah, that's, uh, like James said, he's, he's trending up. So, so think about when you watch him play, he plays with tenacity like no other. He's still playing hard. And sometimes he plays faster than his other guys. And that's why he has a ton couple of turnovers. Uh, I think in this game, like three or four turnovers, I wouldn't give him because he had the one tip ball that goes through LeBron hand. He got the rebound, then he lost. He got fouled down the stretch. So uh, when I look at those nine turnovers, I'm only going to give him six in my mind. But it, 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 the guy plays so hard, and he looks for everybody on the break. And you can see in that first half, people were keeping up with him. People were getting in the position to score, and that was keeping their hands raised, especially DJ. DJ was a recipient of a lot of his assists, and of course, those points in the paints were big in the first half. And in the second half, you didn't see that that much. That's why Memphis was able to catch up with the Lakers and pass them the points in the paint. Yeah, you're starting to see what he brings to the table, right? That first game, only his uh, third triple single in his NBA career when he played more than 35 points. Second game, better. I think tonight was a very good game for him. Like you said, Rob, some of the turnovers, uh, not really his fault. Uh, still trying to get used to his teammates. And more importantly, they have to get used to his speed, James. This guy, I'll take him in a 40-yard dash against any other guy who's drafted just a couple months ago, you know, a teenage kid or just out of college or whatever. Still one of the fastest guys. Uh, his teammates definitely have to try to figure him out as well. Uh, we do have a John Morant tweet that I believe we are going to show. John Morant, what a game. Failure builds character. Do you tweet that quickly I, after I, I'm about to say the same thing. That's, that's, like, that's actually wow. late. Yeah, oh, yeah, guys are, yeah. <laughs> no, no, guys are tweeting. That's the first thing they do now. You knew that, right? No, I didn't know yeah, that. Oh, yeah, go check. First mm -hmm. thing they do before they get shot. Well, I, I think he's wrong there because he, he didn't fail. He didn't fail. He's he's not a failure. Got, I mean, yeah. missing a free throw is not a failure. But, he, but, but, but that's why I think people love him. Yeah. He's... Yeah, he puts it on his shoulders. That's what leaders do. All right, let's get you to the highlights. Sunday night in Los Angeles. 